Today's best music. Magic 89.9. Well, everybody, welcome back. Of course, today's best music, Magic 89.9. My name is Ashley from Afternoon Tea from A to Z, and I'm sitting down today again with a very special guest for you guys. Very excited. I'm sure you're all familiar with this person's voice as it's been playing on the radio and all over the internet for pretty much the entire year. Please welcome sitting here with us today, Miss Natalie Taylor. Hi, Natalie. Hi. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you so much for being here with us. We're very excited to hear more about your music and we're gonna ask all about it in just a little bit. But first, I do wanna ask how you're doing. You know, I know it's been a pretty crazy year for everybody. So how have you been? You know, what have you been up to these last few months? Yeah, I mean, it's been really crazy. Um, it's kind of, you know, going back to some sort of normalcy a little bit, but, um, and I'm six months pregnant. <laughs> so that's been a little challenging. Um, and we have a three year old. So, but it's really good. We're doing good. So how are y'all? I mean, we're, we're good here. You know, I think just the same. It's, it's been definitely very challenging for everybody. And hopefully we're trying to get back to some normalcy. Uh, so we'll have to see how that's going. But I'm glad to hear you're doing well. And I'm so glad to hear you're six months pregnant and you have yes. another child. That's so exciting for you. I know. It's, it's uh, crazy. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> so let's, let's talk about the music now. So obviously, uh, we want to talk about your song, Surrender, which is playing on our radio station every single day. So tell us a little bit about the song first of all yeah so it's five years old um my husband and I wrote it together um really we were kind of like you know in an argument kind of <laughs> but um it came at just a point you know um in our marriage where I mean I've, I always tell this but you know you get to a place where you don't recognize each other you know because you've changed or whatever and so mm -hmm. we realized we were at that point and that's where surrender was born and so we is kind of a more easier song to write because um, we were living through it. So that's how it came about. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think what's really interesting about the song, well, first of all, it got, uh, like you said, it's five years old, but it's really been making waves this year in particular because uh, primarily of the huge internet app, TikTok. Yeah. I mean, how, how did you feel about that? Were you surprised? Yes, I literally had... I mean, I had just uploaded my music to TikTok like maybe three months prior. So yeah, we were like, what is happening? You know, all the, we were, I was just started going through all the videos and I was like, you know, it was really crazy, <laughs> but it was awesome to see, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's really unique too, because I think when people think of TikTok, it's really kind of like a dance app. But your song is really more of a, a little bit slower, a very emotional song that I think a lot of people have connected with and sort of used as the music for, you know, videos about messages that they feel are important, whether it's like mental health or anything right. like that. You know, I mean, did you kind of expect that, that to happen, you know, for people to really use it as uh, kind of like a powerful song, you know, to put out really strong messages out there? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was... It's been, I think what surprises me the most is the different ways people use it because it will go for, I mean, you'll have like literally dog videos and then you'll have, <laughs> I think um, one of my favorite was um, a girl named Layla. She had just finished like her mm -hmm. cancer treatment. So it was like amazing. And it's just, you know, it's there, a lot of them are emotional, but it's really just, it's really cool to see that, you know? Yeah, absolutely. That was actually going to be my next question. I mean, do you have like, a particular set of favorites you know do you save them do you kind of comment on the ones that you really love yeah I, try, I mean I'll literally go through and I try to like I watch them and I like them and I'll yeah I definitely try to comment there's not enough time probably <laughs> to do all of them but um I think Layla was my I think Layla was the one of the first ones I saw and I was like that's when it just hit me how like okay this is like powerful you know um, but there's a ton of dog ones that I love. And then like there's funny ones. I mean, it just goes from one scope to another, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm constantly Absolutely. like flipping and just like a range of emotions. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so. Yeah. I think the, the song can be really versatile that way. And I mean, have you, because obviously I'm sure you are on the app a lot, seeing how much your song has grown there. Have you gotten into the hype yourself? You know, have you made your own kind of videos? I mean, I have, a, I don't, I probably should have more, um, 
but I, I have made a few. I'm, I don't, I'm not going to claim that I'm going to like dance, <laughs> but, um, I mean, it makes you want to, like, I want to do all these challenges, but I just, you know, but there are a few videos on there. I'm trying to do more of just like, you know, I'll just sing singing videos or whatever. So me and my husband did a surrender one, um, just like facts about surrender. So, I mean, I've done a few, so. Okay. Well, that, that, that's so cool. I mean, I, I understand it's kind of an overwhelming app to get into, you know, but right. I hope you guys are enjoying using it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know, and, it, and I know it's very popular among young people. Do you feel um, in some ways, maybe a little more connected to your children? You know, maybe they're very entertained by the app as well. Is it like a family activity for you guys? I mean, I show her like some of the dog videos and she like, let me know. But she's like, so that, those are probably the only ones I show her. But, um, but yeah, I definitely think, um, you know, I get tons of messages from all ages of people too. So, um, and they're like, they're powerful messages, you know, just mm -hmm. from one, again, one extreme to the other. And so mm -hmm. I always try to like, you know, I do go through a lot of them. I can't get to all of them, but I do try to like respond and, you know, Mm -hmm. um, well, connect with them that way. Well, that's cool that you get to connect with people. And I think, um, you know, the internet, because it is so big now and everybody's using it, it's great that you uh, really get to connect with your fans in that way, especially since I'm sure many of them discovered you through the app and all that. Um, so again, you did mention that the song is five years old. It was uh, first made in 2015 and got uh, really, really big this year. Did you, did you kind of feel like maybe when it started getting all the hype this year on the internet, like, did you think, you know, maybe there was a reason for that? Like the timing really was uh, more right for the song this year. Uh, you know, maybe the emotions or the sound of it resonated more with people today than it did five years ago. Oh, for sure. I mean, it, it it's, it's hard to say that too, because it's like, it's interpreted so differently than how we originally wrote right. it. And so, yeah, I mean, I did not expect like, I just, I didn't expect this at all, but it's been like, uh, I do say this a lot too, but it, it really is true. It's just like, it put music back into perspective for me of just like, mm -hmm. you know, how it can affect people. And so, yeah, I mean, it's been, it's really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sure. I think that's, what's cool about it, that there's so many ways to interpret it, you know, and as, as time goes by, people are going to understand it in different ways. And I think other ways that your music has been interpreted, I do believe, it's been featured in some TV shows, you know, the likes of like Grey's Anatomy, Pretty Little Liars. Did you always kind of envision that when you started making music? You know, did you kind of envision your show, your music, the, you know, the kind of uh, stuff that would play for these like dramatic emotional shows? Right. You know, I didn't. Um, <laughs> it, 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 it naturally comes, that's just what naturally comes out. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of who I am. So, but it has been really cool to have that platform and just like you know I, sometimes I don't even see I, I don't really see the scene first so it's even cool for me to I'm watching it for the first time mm -hmm. with everybody else so it's really cool to see how it connects to that scene and then like how people connect to that song from watching it so it's it's really cool I'm so super thankful for that oh well, that's so great and you know would you want to make more music for that medium specifically in the future you know maybe tv movies do you kind of see yourself going in that direction somehow yeah i mean i think like it'll always be hopefully like a part of what we do and like how my music you know um an outlet for my music i think like you know i'm gonna continue i mean it like i said it's just like so it happens to be the kind of music that I do and it so I'm thankful that it just translates into film TV and you know hopefully movies yeah that would be amazing so, yeah that would be amazing yeah. and I think your voice would sound great you know on the big screen and you know that being said can you tell us a little bit you know we're, we're excited obviously to see more from you your song is everywhere and we're sure you can only give us more so kind of what are your plans for the future where do you see your music going from here yeah I mean I'm um, I haven't really stopped writing like there's definitely plans for more music obviously and um I think a part of me like there'll always be the emotional songs coming out of me um but I would also <laughs> like I think I'm I, I would love to like explore more of my roots and like where I came from which is like 90s R&B and country so I don't know there's just you never know where it can go <laughs> so right. yeah I'm excited to just there's gonna definitely gonna be emotional stuff because that's just what I do and you know but mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's it'll be fun to explore some stuff so 
Well, that's fantastic. And you know, no, no one ever gets sick of having emotional music out there. There's always <laughs> going to be people who need that out there. So right. uh, one last thing be, before you head on out here, thank you so much for joining us. Just a quick message to all of your fans here in the Philippines who are loving your music, hearing it on the radio and on the internet all the time. And of course, we'd love to see you come here someday. Just a quick message to all of them. Yeah. No, yes. Um, I just, I'm really appreciative that y'all embrace like the music that I do. And I know that, you know, I would love to visit y'all. My husband's actually been to the Philippines. So it would be cool. To, um, yeah. He's probably been like every, you know, I know he's been to Manila, but so yeah, I would love to come see you guys. And um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for sitting down here with us today. We had so much fun talking to you congratulations on your pregnancy and on your beautiful you. family and good luck of course with all of your music going forward so once again you guys that was miss natalie taylor right here on magic 89.9 you can hear her song surrender playing on the radio station every single day we will see you guys <laughs> next time bye bye thank you thank you